Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Spellweaver. My name is Bolter and today I wanted to bring you another deck discussion video and this one happens to be the most interesting deck to come out of the Asperia Cup Invitational that we had a couple weeks ago. And this one comes to us from Rimuel, which again I'm probably butchering the name, but again, you know, butchering names is what I do. It's part of my job. <laughs> and the, the win condition is right here. It's a grand reunion deck. It, 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 I, what else can I say? It's a Grand Reunion deck. Someone actually took a Grand Reunion deck into a tournament. You know, wow. I'm kind of surprised by that. We'll see if that happens in any of the... in the Pioneer Invitational that Fuzz and I will be casting in the official Spellweaver channel. A plug. <laughs> but I just I wanted to talk about it. I, I could not let a... Grand Reunion deck slip past me, you know what I mean? Especially one that was actually used in a tournament, so, you know, I had to talk about it. So, let's dive right in. So, for those of you who don't know, Grand Reunion. At the end of your turn, look at the top five cards of your deck. Put a Fairy, Elf, Plant, or Spirit among them on the field. Put the rest shuffled on the bottom of the deck. At the start of your turn, start of your turn, that's the key, win the game if you control a Fairy, Elf, Plant, and Spirit. Now, there are a number of those spread across a number of aspects. Corruption has Mesmerizing Spirit, uh, Dominion had some Elves, and I, Wisdom also had some Spirits, but this deck is primarily just a Wisdom, Nature, kind of a bounce control deck, you know, you're trying to stall until you can win through Grand Reunion, so. Let's dive right in. First off, the Spirits in the deck. You've got the Squisitive Spirit, obviously. Card draw, sacrifice it. You know, early game blocker kind of deal. You've got Dust Titan, who's kind of a, a board control. Even can be kind of a win condition. This deck can win through um, combat. Excuse me. I mean, it's got some aggressive cards like Hilary Rider. It's got some elves and whatnot. But, you know, it's really trying to just win through Grand Reunion. So, I mean, Dust Titan, if it left on the board, you know, if cheated out kind of early through a Grand Reunion... You know, so all of a sudden you've got like a 6-6 a six, six or a 7-7. Seven, seven. Why not swing with it? You know what I mean? So, may, you can win without using Grand Reunion, but that's the overall overall um, point of the deck. The other spirit in the deck is one you don't see all that often. Life Force Incarnate. Now, obviously in a deck where you're trying to keep board control with, like, so you can set up for Grand Reunion, she's going to be at least decent sized, not huge, but you really want her for her other ability. At the start of your turn, you may return a random creature card from your graveyard to your hand. So it lets you, if you lose your creatures, one of the uh, original weaknesses of Grand Reunion was you could just run out of creatures. If they, say, I kill all of your ancient treants, all of a sudden you've got no plants. You can't win, you know what I mean? So, some people used to have you used to have to kind of splash corruption in order to prevent that from happening, but it just didn't work. I'm not saying this deck is going to be super consistent, but you know, life force incarnate being able to get cards creatures from your graveyard back to your hand definitely a useful tool. You know what I mean? Definitely adds a little something, and the fact that it's a spirit and it's in nature is just double so. So you don't have to splash any new other aspects. So Elves, pretty straightforward. You've got Elf Warrior, you've got Heldiri Rider, both really good for their cost. Uh, and you've only got four fairies. You've got Storm Fairy, which bounces a creature when you play her. And again, the Ancient Treant is the only plant. So another one, and you've got Ramp with the New Horizons. You've got kind of board control with Jarell's Silencer, Tornado Outbreak, and Landslide. Landslide, which also not only hits creatures, but also hits spells and artifacts which can help get rid of you know vampirism and uh lamp and tombs too because it doesn't actually destroy tombs so they don't get that extra zombie out of tombs so it's a fun little deck i've actually had mixed success with it but then again a lot of times when decks like this are made and they're made a specific way they're made for the player who builds them so if you try and net deck them, that doesn't exactly work out as well for you, if only because you're not thinking the same way the creator thinks. But again, and I mean the hero power even in of, even of it itself is, um, you know, that much more stall because it shocks the board and keeps your opponent from attacking with what with the creatures that are on the board, 
for a turn. You can even kill some stuff. But really, you know, early game um, spirit and elf warrior to trade with the board. New Horizons to ramp you. Uh, you got Ancient Treant to actually help you win the game through combat because his ability is just that good. You know, you attack, you stunt, you lock down or, or roots a creature for a turn. And, you know, maybe it actually helps you win alongside a huge Dust Titan. I mean, like I said, the deck can win through combat, and it's got some really good creatures for doing that. But the fact that you actually have Grand Reunion in the deck means you have that extra win condition. And, I mean, arguably you could even, like, just play the Grand Reunion not worry about using it as a win condition. But the fact that it actually gets you a creature from your deck in play every at the end of every turn, you know, play it, uh, play Ancient Treant for 5 mana, then all of a sudden you've also got a um, Dust Titan along with it, you know, very possible that you can just kind of out-advantage your opponent, especially if you're able to kind of control the board early, um, early on. So, not a whole lot to be said about this deck, unfortunately, because it's just kind of bare bones. It's not really trying to do anything super fancy. I mean, other than the fact that it's a Grand Reunion deck, but as far as Grand Reunion decks go, it's not trying to do anything super fancy. It's not really trying to be anything it's not. It's a Grand Reunion deck that can win through punching your opponent in the face here and there. You can poke them, you can prod them, you can manipulate the board. I mean, if with the right curve, you could actually play this like a tempo deck. You know what I mean? You could actually play it just to where you're trying to keep your opponent off balance while you win. So, and Grand Reunion, as I said, Grand Reunion's ability to kind of cheat creatures onto the board helps with that. So, I am trying to keep all of these deck discussion videos under 10 minutes. This is probably going to be my shortest one of all of them. So, uh, if you have Grand Reunions, I know the last card I ever got a playset of was Grand Reunion, but that was because back then it was actually pretty crap. <laughs> so if you have Grand Reunion, you have all these cards, you're looking for something new to try, give it a shot. I mean, it's fun. I've played it. And again, I've had some mixed success with it, but that's because sometimes you just get some really weird draws with this deck and there's really just no like real optimal play. But you know, what can you do? Such is the nature of TCGs and CCGs and living card games and other CGs. <laughs> so I give it a shot. I'd love to see this bouncing around um, friendly and he, hey, even ranked, you know, but we'll see what happens. Maybe, maybe Dem or spotlighting this deck means that it'll shake up the meta. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I couldn't even get through that with a straight face. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy all my videos. Thank you so much for watching. Thumbs up, comment, subscribe, you know, the whole nine. I do this channel because I enjoy making videos for the community. The community is awesome. Even as it's, you know, expanded, it's still continued to be awesome. I look forward to seeing everyone at the Pioneer Invitational. Right? That's going to be this Sunday. Wow, that's actually coming right up, isn't it? <laughs> so I'll make sure to spotlight decks from that tournament once that tournament's over with. I hope you guys come out and check out. Uh, Noxious is going to be doing a stream. Uh, Fuzz and I will be doing the official Spellweaver stream, as I understand it. There'll be an official, like, Spellweaver tournament, or it'll just be a Spellweaver Twitch channel made and operated by the developers and whatnot that me, Fuzz, and I will be casting on. So, I'm hoping you guys enjoy this. I hope you enjoy the tournament. I hope you enjoy Spellweaver in general. And may the cards rise to meet you and bring good RNG to your enemies' enemies.